Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar on Google Meet and the Meet Quality Tool. My name is Brianna Brown. I'm Worcester's Partner Operations Manager, and I'm alongside my colleagues Patrick Della Peruta, Worcester's Director of Workspace Services, and Christopher Hopkins Ward, our Cloud Consultant. And these two lovely gentlemen will be leading today's discussion. This meeting is being recorded. Anybody who registered for the event will receive a link to view it later this week. We do ask that you stay on mute because there are a good amount of people in the session today. Please feel free to submit any questions at any time using the Meet chat box, and we'll answer them at the end of the presentation. You may also notice that Emily just dropped each of our LinkedIn uh, pages in the chat here. Please feel free to connect with our team on LinkedIn. We'd be happy to connect with you. This event is being hosted by Worsta, and I want to share a little bit about us before we get started. Our mission is to help organizations maximize their use of the cloud. We do that by working alongside our clients to help them make good technology decisions and help grow your business in ways that you might not have been able to otherwise. This can help organizations like yours develop cultures of continuous innovation powered by what we all know and love as real-time collaboration. With that, I will turn it over to Christopher. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you. And actually, I'm really happy to be a part of this event. I'm kind of geeking out uh, because this event specifically is right at my wheelhouse. And I will state right now as a fact that I am the biggest Google Meet nerd at Worcester. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> really, Chris? You're the biggest nerd at Worsta? Bigger than me, the director of workspace services? Okay, fine. Patrick, I wouldn't assume to be a bigger nerd than you about anything. All right, I get it. Thank you. Great. That's more like it. it, it except for, for Google Meet. All right. And I'm going to say this I'm going to stand up for myself because of my background. All right. I actually came to Worsta directly from the Google go to market team for Google Meet. All right. So not only did I have a chance to interact with and help the developers of me, I got to do that during the most crucial time of Meet's infancy, the start of our fun little pandemic. All right, Chris, that's a fair point. And you're right. Last year, Google did make uh, so many additions and, and evolutions to the Meet platform uh, um, at such a quick pace, really just to keep up with uh, what was already on the market. Right, exactly, like the Zooms and the Teams and the Blue Jeans and the Boo Boo Boos and the Wah Wahs. <laughs> well, you're right, being at Google at that time must have been bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S, it was bananas, Patrick, thank you. So I literally got to see the internal workings and goings on, like how the sausage is made. So that, my friend Patrick, qualifies me to be a bigger meat nerd than you. Mm, all right, fine, Chris, I concede. Thank you, so now everyone knows me and Patrick love me, and we like to argue about who loves it more. <laughs> yes, we do. Yep. So, like, for instance, last last year, Meet has made like amazing strides and updates, putting it on the level level playing field with all the previously mentioned competitors. Uh, that's right. And in fact, at worst, uh, like any decent Google partner should, uh, we use Google Meet exclusively exclusively for every one of our customer meetings. That's true. In fact, we prefer to use Meet. Uh, uh, by far, it is, uh, we find much simpler to use, easier to navigate, it's just yep. simpler overall. Exactly, and it's a web browser, so you don't need to download a program on your computer, and it's also inherently already part of all Google Workspace packages, so you don't need an extra silly little video service when you have Meet, because it's already included, and it's so robust anyway. That's right. So let's, uh, let's go back and let's talk about what Google Meet is, that's why everybody is here. Welcome, Kevin. We were just talking about what Google Meet is. Google Meet is Google's enterprise video conferencing service. It uses artificial intelligence and machine learning of Google Workspace to help you do your job a little bit easier, a little bit faster. It allows companies to schedule and organize video calls. And it also contains a huge variety of features and that uh, admins use and end users use as well. It's really cool. Uh, uh, hold on, Chris. Um... Great content. Don't you think you're doing a lot of telling here and not a lot of showing, though? That's such a good point, Patrick. So why don't you, from your perspective, show us uh, what features you use uh, uh, in Meet on a day-to-day -day basis? I will do that. That's a great idea. Let's go into this Meet right now. Uh, first off, I just want to talk about some really cool features that I can just see as the user. I can 
you know, turn on, turn off my camera, my microphone. And over here, I've got some activities that I can start uh, because I own this meeting. So for instance, I just wanna highlight polls. I saved a poll before this meeting ever began. And so from here, I can uh, choose to launch this poll. In fact, I'll launch this poll right here internally. Uh, and from here, you can get live voting. And by the way, this poll is for the audience if you use Google Meet or not, something very useful to find out during a meeting like this. Also, while I'm here, I wanna also highlight a new update that literally just happened this week because Google's already always making updates every single week. So now you can see the host management tools that have been added to Google Meet. So I can choose if everyone wants to share their screen or not, or I can choose if I want to let everybody send chat messages or not, for instance. And underneath settings, some really cool machine learning technology is built right inside Google Meet as well. So for instance, this uh, noise cancellation, one second. Yeah, so if I turn off this noise cancellation and I use my can of uh, La Croix, I think it's pronounced, uh, and I just uh, crunch my can, you can totally hear it. But now when I turn on my noise canceling, and I'm crunching my can, you cannot hear it at all. So that's a really cool feature to be able to talk about. Uh, from here, I also have my video features. I can switch cameras. I can specify the resolution or not. And then also, say my meat is, uh, it, it doesn't have the, the quality that I was expecting from it. I can quickly go to troubleshooting and I can see a lot of useful information. So for instance, my exact connection delay. By the way, look how sweet my connection is. No <laughs> delay at all. And then also my system load. Uh, I can see if my multiple Google Meets or my Google Meet is taking up a lot of my CPU and I can do multiple, take multiple steps to fix my, uh, my Meet that might be you know, not looking as good as it usually is. So Google really, really helps you. So those are like my three things that I wanted to point out, but that doesn't even point out all, everything. I, you know, I could have talked more about the instant whiteboarding you can start from in your meeting. I could talk about how we're recording this meeting right now so that people can view it later on if they want to. Question and answers, breakout rooms. And also one of my favorite bits is just turning on captions so that every single word that I'm said, I've said is uh, read out to me, including complicated words like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, so, but Patrick, you yes. sir, are the systems admin for Worsta and for the Google Admin Console. So you've true. got that perspective from the admin side of you. Would you mind actually sharing your screen and showing what you see? Sure, absolutely. It's a, it's a great point and um, a, a, an important one at that. Um, uh, as a workspace administrator internally, um, often we are, you know, asked with uh, or presented with, hey, I had an issue on a meet. Uh, quality was terrible. I was trying to screen share. Couldn't do this, couldn't do that. Um, uh, luckily, Google has sort of, uh, uh, you know, heard that from administrators. Hey, we need a way to monitor these. Um, and they have introduced the meet quality tool uh, as part of the admin stack. Uh, this, in its early versions, was a separate uh, site that you would go to. It's now integrated with your, your uh, admin console. Uh, to find it in your admin console, you're going to navigate to apps. Under Google Workspace, you're going to go into Google Meet. <clears throat> and then under Google Meet, you can uh, find the meet quality tool. Um, just as a head up, heads up, you can also find this at meet.google.com. Uh, you'll find the uh, lightning bo bolt or dashboard uh, icon at the type uh, at the top that'll take you to the same spot. Once in the admin uh, quality tool, you can look up a number of different key uh, data points around Google Meet uh, meetings. So, for example, uh, if I wanted to bring up a meeting that Chris and I were on earlier in preparation for for this call, I could click on the add a filter section click on meeting code and enter in the 10 digit meeting code that is generated with all Google Meet links. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply. And we can see that meeting has been returned now in my, in my query. I can see a couple of key uh, pieces of data right uh, there at the top. Uh, I can see who the organizer was. I can see the meeting code again. I can see when it started, how long the meeting uh, uh, took place for. Uh, how many max participants were in there uh, and other things related to network connectivity like network congestion and packet loss i can also drill down into this meeting and see even more statistics uh, statistics on top of that 
So for example, I can see that this meeting was uh, scheduled to start at 1.30. Chris was on time. Yep, I showed up a minute early, actually. And I you, was you did show up a mini, minute early. I, of course, because I almost always am, uh, we're running a few, minute late, a few minutes late. And uh, uh, a few of the other team members were as well. So you can see when they actually joined and what state that they were in when they joined. So for example, on Chris's timeline here, we can see the uh, dark blue bar represents when his camera was on, his audio was on, and he was not muted. Once he muted himself, you can see the, the dark blue line turned to a light blue. And then once he un unmuted himself, once I joined, uh, he unmuted himself and that uh, timeline uh, persisted that way. Scrolling down in this information uh, window that we have here, we can see other activities. So for example, when uh, Chris started to screen share, uh, if I was to scroll down to this section, I can see that Chris started a screen share about 25 seconds, or it lasted for about 25 seconds. Um, I can see what resolution he had presented in. I can see things like frame rate and bit rate. Uh, um, um, and I can see that I also, uh, at one point during the presentation, sh shared my screen. Other things that are helpful from an administrator's perspective are looking at things like network statistics. And, and a little bit of this is included in that network and troubleshooting tool that uh, Chris showed earlier. Uh, but for administrators, when we get that call from our, our C-suite saying, hey, meet is, is not operating properly, we are able to go into this tool and say, well, you know, Mr. CEO, it's really because you're on the Starbucks Wi-Fi with like 30 other people, and you have very, very terrible uh, uh, network bandwidth at the moment. Um, so we use this from a day-to-day -day basis to sort of troubleshoot and provide data uh, or evidence uh, when issues do crop up. Awesome. Really cool perspective, Patrick. Thanks. Brianna, you can take it away to say, uh, you know, what does Worsta offer in terms of Google Meet? Definitely. Well, if you're already on Google, you've probably used Google Meet or at least heard of it. It comes with the service that you're paying for. Now, if you're a Worsta customer, you are eligible for exclusive offerings, some of which include discounts for your Google Workspace licensing, premier support, and training from our subject matter experts. Worsta is also here to help you determine if moving to Google Meet is the right decision for your organization. And if it is, we provide technical discovery uh, and some change management services. If you know anything about Worsta, you know that we love making sure you, your users are supported. So we got your back, don't worry. Worsta also sells and offers Google Meet hardware to utilize in your conference rooms. So as some of you are maybe planning on going back into the office soon, this might be a great opportunity for you. There are different sizes, different manufacturers, different hardware items that might be unique to different conference rooms around your offices. And lastly, on this list, you will gain exclusive access to Meet Road Mapping, which showcases the new features and functionality of Google Meet. Now, Chris, do you have an example of a Worcester customer that we successfully rolled Google Meet to? I'd love to hear a little bit about yes. that. Yes, Brianna, I actually have a really good example. Now, of course, I can't name this customer outright because of NDAs and because of how professional we at Worcester are, but I can talk about them. So uh, they're actually a really, a really good media company, a multimedia company that produce a variety of videos that are really cool all the time. Uh, that's basically what I can tell in vague terms. But last year they were using, they were spending $40,000 a year on blue jeans. And us as Worsta got them to transition over to using Google Meet and Google Meet hardware. That's the series one. And from uh, year to year, we were able to reduce their yearly operation costs by about 90%. So it was really, really successful. Also, this particular customer is very specific in what they like and what they don't like. And actually, they've had no bad reviews across the board. They love Google Meet. They love using it. They love the Series 1, and they also love the bulk discounts we were able to provide for them as their, uh, as Worsta. Excellent. So to recap what we've been through, uh, so me and Patrick went through the new features of Google Meet, both from the user's end perspective, that was me, and also the admin perspective with the Meet Quality Tool, which was Patrick, and then Brianna offered or talked about the, the Worsta offerings. Awesome. Before we get into questions, um, I encourage everybody that's here to keep an eye out for some of our upcoming September events. 
These will be focused specifically on cloud security and network optimization. Emily just dropped in the link for some of the upcoming events, so please feel free to take a look and register for any of those if you would like. We do have a Google Meet offering for all of our registrants. Uh, your Worcester rep will be reaching out to schedule a quick call to go over the details of today's session, maybe a debrief of today's webinar, and to address any unique questions that you might have if Meet is right for you. Lastly, we would love your feedback. There is going to be a link in the chat here, and you'll also receive a follow-up email with a very short survey to tell us about what you thought of today's session. I will now open the floor for any questions. Um, and if you don't have any questions, thank you so much for joining today.